Hello, welcome to your Jubilee week ahead forecast from the Met Office. For most of us, the weather's going in the right direction. Certainly the start of this Jubilee week, not too promising, with low pressure sitting right over us, bringing an awful lot of showers. However, as we go through the next few days, that low eventually gets pushed away by this area of high pressure, slowly turning to dominate. There are weather fronts pinching us from the north and the south, so it's not straightforward that high pressure will bring a lot of sunny weather, but it is turning drier thanks to that high pressure moving in. And slowly it will be turning a little warmer as well. If we rewind the clock, cool air sitting across the country to start the week, but as we go through the next few days as that high pressure topples in, it's not spectacularly warm. The really warm air is down here across the Mediterranean, but the orange colours do push northwards and temperatures will be ticking up. And of course, by the weekend, we're into June. So any sunshine is going to make it feel pretty warm. OK, let's rewind the clock once more and go through the days of this week one by one. We start with low pressure and we start with plenty more showers across the country on Tuesday. Heavy showers, slow moving showers. There's not much wind out there. And yes, they'll be thundery in places too, particularly over central and eastern parts, but turning quite cloudy by the end of the day across Northern Ireland with rain moving in here. A couple of places that may not see too many afternoon showers, Wales, southwest England, decent chance of some spells of sunshine here. And that's probably where we'll see the top temperatures as well, 18, maybe 19. For most though, we're only in the mid-teens at best and feeling cool, especially when those showers come along. With light winds, when the showers do come along, they don't move very quickly. So the downpours are lasting quite a while. And there'll be more to come on Wednesday, probably starting off fairly wet over parts of the Midlands. And then we'll see the showers, just look at that breaking out once more. Now, you can see that the showers are more focused on Wednesday across these central and eastern parts. Not too many further west. A good chance that West Wales, South West England, Northern Ireland, the west coast of Scotland will be dry and fine on Wednesday with sunny spells. But there will be, again be showers across the rest of the country. Hit and miss, still some sunshine lifting the temperatures into the mid or even high teens across the south. And the winds are light, so again, get in the sunny spells, it doesn't feel too bad. But with the breeze coming in from the sea, particularly across the northeast, that's going to feel fairly fresh at times. So, what does the weather have in store for the big weekend? Well, as we head towards Thursday, high pressure is starting to topple in. There are these weather fronts, one pushing up from the south, one pushing in from the northwest, and they are going to introduce more cloud and eventually uh, maybe a few showers, particularly this one. I think most of us will start dry on Thursday, but as this weather system approaches, some uncertainty about how much rain arrives, but it, we are looking at some showery rain drifting into Western Scotland and Northern Ireland during the day. For many places though, the first of the bank holidays will be fine. Dry, bright with some sunny spells and temperatures in the high teens, maybe low twenties across parts of the south, again with light winds, the strength of the June sunshine, that will feel fairly warm. By the time we get to Friday, that's weather fronts, is weakening, but it could still be the focus for some showers during Friday. So its exact position will be key as to where we see showers on Friday, but the most likely zone will be Northern Ireland, Southern Scotland, Northern England, somewhere in there. Elsewhere, well, one or two showers are possible, particularly on the south coast, but again, for the majority across the Midlands, Southern England, South Wales, Eastern England and Northern Scotland, most of the day it looks dry and bright with some sunshine and feeling a bit warmer. Again, if you're stuck under the cloud, if we do see some showers, temperatures will be suppressed somewhat. And then into Saturday, well, that area of high pressure finally taking control. It's not a big area of high pressure, not particularly strong. So there's always the chance that weather fronts could push in from the north or indeed push in from the south. And at the moment, there is the risk of some showers on Saturday for parts of East Anglia, maybe into Kent, perhaps along the south coast again too. And perhaps some thickening cloud heading into Shetland with a bit of rain. But again, for the vast majority, Saturday looks dry with decent spells of sunshine and warmer, certainly than the start of the week. Again, some of these North Sea coasts will be a little fresh, but elsewhere with some sunshine, temperatures could easily in the south get into the low 20s. A bit of a breeze perhaps blowing across parts of East Anglia and the south coast of England, and that could be a feature of Sunday's weather as well. But overall, for the Jubilee weekend, for the four days, there'll be a lot of dry weather around. 
yes, still some showers here and there, and I've highlighted those areas most at risk. But many places will see sunny spells, and certainly after a cool start to this week, it is going to be feeling warmer. A cautionary note, the sun is strong at this time of year, so if you're spending any time outside in those sunny spells, even if it doesn't feel very warm, UV levels are likely to be high, so do make sure you uh, protect yourself from the sunshine. More information about UV levels or pollen levels if you visit our website, download our app, or of course keep up to date, particularly with where those showers are likely to be on Thursday by following us across social media.